This is a model of 3 oxalato chromate trion. The yellow atom as a chromium bind with 3 oxalate ion. So this is the first oxalate ion. This is the second and this is the third oxalate ion. So generally, this complex ion has octahedral geometry shape. Alright, so now we are going to find out symmetry elements operation for this complex ion. So we look at three oxygen atoms at the top, one, two, three, and also three oxygen atoms at the bottom, one, two, three. So these three oxygen atoms look trigonal shape. So it means that we can rotate 120 degree through the C3 axis, passing through the chromium atom. So let's say we try to rotate now. So we look at the oxygen atom here at the bottom and this one. So we are going to rotate through this C3 axis. So the first we rotate like this. So we get the same configuration. So we try again 120 degree 120 degree. So we get the same configuration. So now we are going to find another rotation axis. So we find out we can rotate 180 degree. So the axis C2 axis is here through the central atom and passing oxalate ion here. Alright, so now let's we rotate this complex 180 degree through this C2 axis. So we rotate here so we can look. We get the same configuration. We try again. We get the same configuration. So it means that there are one C2 axis here. Another one C2 axis here for the second oxalate ion. And the last one here C2 axis for the third oxalate ion. So there are three C2 axis. So as what we can see here, this three C2 axis actually perpendicular with the C3. So C3 exists as a main axis. So there are three C2 axis perpendicular with the main axis C3. So point group for this complex ion is dihedral point group. Because this complex ion has no plane for reflection. So that's why point group for this complex ion is D3.